So over here, you can see that I, I can see the income, sales and expenses right here. But what if I want to view the data of a certain day trains only? So in that case, what you can do is you can add in a control right here. And then what you can do is you can select out day trains control right here and click this like this. So here now it says select a day trains right here. So you can see that this is in Jan. Uh, I got data from Jan 1 right here till Jan 22, as you can see right here. But if I want to change out the data to, let's say, for example, till Jan 15 only, then you can go around over here. And what you need to do is you need to select this out. So I'm just going to go around, click here, and you can see that this is very interactive. So from 2000, Jan 1 uh, right here. So from Jan 1 to, let's say, the end date is going to be January, and it's going to be the date right here. So let me just go around over here, select out 2000, Jan, and this is going to be till 15 right here. Let's press apply and let's see what happens. So you can see that now you got data from Jan 1 to Jan 15 over here, just like this. And you can see the date range right here. You can go around over here to get the same option as well. You can go around and see that you can go around, let's say I want to filter it out to Jan let's say 9 to 15 and you can see that 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 is the data that you get um are right here once you select it so this is what you have as you can see right here so uh even if a regular user were able to view this on the view portion you can see that this portion is interactive right here so you can go around and select out a certain date range and you can view the data for that certain date range right here so you can see that after um, uh, Jan 22, I have no data, so it is all blank right here. But if I were to go around and select out, let's say six, press apply, then you can see that the chart changes automatically right here. And that is how you can work around with the date range inside of Google Data Studio uh, and use the date range control. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.